for me, it's exactly how I want to live. I want to be able to sit within a built environment which is really comfortable and has all of the conveniences of a great home, but then look out and be one with nature. Where are we heading, mate? We're, uh, we're going to the roof terrace, Peter, and I wanted it to be an absolute surprise. So to discover it, you had to, you had to go exploring. This is the place where we come and really do capture the world. So, because from up here, we can see everything. <laughs> I'll say it again. Outdoor bath, in the sun, yeah. round the fire, yeah. taking it all in. Yeah. We had to do it, because there's no flat land on, on, on the site, none. How high are we here, Rob? I've got to be, I gotta be careful here, because I'm scared of heights. Six or seven metres, right? Yeah. And um, this is where the cylinder is, is cut open this shows you the, just the fillets of glass that we, we gave to the bedrooms. So it does have the feel of, of a turret. The pallet is a subtle feature of this stunning home, but the standout is the way the open living space contrasts with the intimate circular side. I think he lost his straight ruler when he started drawing this because there's not many straight walls in the whole place. Rendering these concrete block curves smooth it was a job for a true artisan. I um, studied in Venice in a place called San Sevolo, which is an institute for training artisans. And now you're working on castles. Little castles. <laughs> I think you've got a duty to really go for the new and explore new ideas as an architect. Standing up here though, you really feel as though you are king of the castle. For Rob, Lucinda, baby Henry and Emma the dog, this is a favourite spot of an evening. It was incredibly complicated to do it and it cost a lot of money, but it was worth it because sunset drinks up here are fantastic. A good architecture creates spaces for people to live in and you've got to allow people space to breathe and bring their own personalities and their own emotions to the space. Rob's happy with what he's created, but being an owner architect has been, well, an illuminating experience. To be honest, I now know what it's like to be a client of mine. You know, I've experienced being a client of Rob Mills and I now know what it's like. And, and you know, I feel sorry for all of those clients. <laughs> Can we ask you how much you spent? No. <laughs> I can't tell you. It's embarrassing. Oh, really? <laughs> well, because the reason it's embarrassing was that I was determined to spend a lot less. And uh, in the end, um, I just went for it. Sandcastles, brought to you by HIA, the industry professionals.